Hi there, are you looking to get a drone to take videos or pictures of real estate listings? Well stick around and I'll help you make that decision. My name is Brad and I post a tip every single week on this channel and if that is a good thing for you, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Now let's get to it! So you're looking at getting aerial pictures and video of a real estate listing, but you're not sure what drone to buy. Well, keep in mind, this is not a full comparison of everything that's out there. This is just what I see that's probably one of the better or of the better drones. And it's also giving you my opinion on which one I think is better. First thing you need to do is you need to have your FAA part 107 license before you do anything commercial with a drone. And yes, that does include real estate listings. You can get fined up to $11,000 if you are doing it for real estate listings without a part 107. I have an affiliate link below that you can use to go to Remote Pilot 101 that will teach you everything you need to know and you will be able to pass the test the first time. Let's pick a drone. Now there are a lot of drones out there and even though this list may feel like I'm a bit of a DJI fanboy, trust me, I'm not. The problem is that they just have a very huge share of the market and they build some pretty good drones. The prices listed in this video are as of July 1st, 2017. Let's start with the DJI Spark and I'm including the remote controller because you want that no matter what. The video quality of the DJI Spark is 1080p at 30 frames per second, which is actually the lowest on this entire list. The picture quality is 12 megapixels. The battery life is about 16 minutes, which is kind of short. It does have some obstacle avoidance. It is very lightweight, so it's not very good on windy days, but it is extremely compact and easily transportable. And it has a two axis gimbal. Currently, they are going for $699 with the controller. In my opinion, the Spark is okay for an agent to use on occasion. The picture quality is pretty good, but the video quality is not the best. The limitations are basically that it's really lightweight and that it is only got a two axis gimbal. So when you are flying and you're trying to do a side to side shot, the picture is going to tilt and it's not going to look very good or professional. So I would not recommend this specific drone as a business. Next up is the Autel X-Star Premium, which has video quality of 4K at 30 frames per second. The battery life is 25 minutes. It does not have object avoidance. It is not too heavy. It's decent in the wind, and some people do have issues with stability. It comes with a case, and it has a 3-axis gimbal, and currently is selling for $799. The X-Star Premium is a pretty good introductory drone. However, it does not have object avoidance, which means you can run into a tree, a building, a person, which, you know, is not all the best. Some people also do have problems with stability, whether it's uh, strong winds or light winds, uh, but this does not happen across all of the units. It does have very good video and picture quality. So let's get on to the DJI Mavic Pro. The video quality is 4K at 30 frames per second. The picture quality is 12.35 megapixels. The battery life is 27 minutes. It does have obstacle avoidance. It is lightweight, but it is still good in, with some winds. It is compact and easily transportable, and it does have a three axis gimbal, and it's going right now for about $1,000. The DJI Mavic Pro is also a very good introductory drone. It has good camera with good video and pictures. It's very small, so it's compact, it's light, and it's transportable. And it also has decent battery life, and it has the three axis gimbal. I think this is a really good drone for real estate agents and maybe a business to start with. And next up is the Unique Typhoon H. Video quality is pretty good at 4K with 30 frames per second. The picture quality is 12.4 megapixels. Battery life is about 25 minutes. It does have obstacle avoidance. It is not very compact. It has six props. It has a three axis gimbal and the camera can turn 360 degrees. Currently it is selling for $999 and a pro pack with an additional battery and a backpack is $1199. In my opinion, this is not a good starter drone, but it is a good drone. But this thing is huge. It is not compact. It has six motors. It does fold up and become more compact, but it is not anything near the Autel or the Mavic or the Spark. And for the price, it is worth it because you can get some really good pictures and video with it. The 360 degree camera is really nice because you can actually keep the drone in one place and pan the camera with all the other drones in this list. You cannot do that. This drone is not for a newbie, but is quite capable for real estate. So now we're going to talk the Phantom series from DJI, which is the 4, the 4 Advanced, and the 4 Pro. The DJI Phantom 4 has video quality of 4K at 30 frames per second. The picture quality is 12.4 megapixels. Battery life is 25 minutes and it does have obstacle avoidance. It has a three axis gimbal and it sells right now for about $899. 
The Phantom 4 is a pretty good drone, but it is getting phased out of DJI. The price listed here was from another website, which I don't even link because I don't remember what site I got it from. But when you go to the DJI website from the US, you can actually not order one of these right now. You can definitely still get them online, and if you can't get one, you definitely will not be disappointed. This is a great starter drone with good video quality and obstacle avoidance and everything else, so you will definitely be able to do what you gotta do with real estate with this drone. And now we're with the DJI Phantom 4 Advanced. The video quality is 4K, 60 frames per second. The picture quality is 20 megapixels. The battery life is 30 minutes. It does have obstacle avoidance and it's a three axis gimbal. And it's currently going for $1199. The Phantom 4 Advanced is a really good drone. The only difference between the 4 Advanced and the 4 Pro is the obstacle avoidance. The 4 Pro has more obstacle avoidance than the Advanced, but they have the same camera, the same controls and everything else. So if that extra object avoidance is not important to you, Go ahead and get the advanced because it is well worth it. Which brings us to the DJI Phantom 4 Pro. The video quality is also 4K at 60 frames per second. The picture quality is also 20 megapixels. The battery life is 30 minutes. It has five directional obstacle avoidance, left, right, forward, backwards, and down. And it also has a three axis gimbal and it sells right now for $14.99. The DJI Phantom 4 Pro is an awesome camera, but it has the exact same camera as the Advanced. The only difference is the object avoidance. This is a fantastic drone for a beginner because you will probably not hit anything because of the object avoidance, but never, ever, ever rely on object avoidance. Now, I'm not going to get into the DJI Inspire 2 because there are too many configurations and it will probably get too confusing and it'll make this video way too long. If you're a beginner, it's gonna overwhelm you to get the Inspire 2. You're gonna be, oh my God, what the heck do I have to do? So don't get the DJI Inspire 2 unless you know what you're doing. If you already have a drone and you're in the drone business, you already know about the Inspire 2 and you don't need my opinion at all. All of these drones do have smart modes where you can fly a path, do an orbit, or many other different program features that you can use all for real estate. Everything you need as far as programmed, all of these drones do have what you need for real estate as far as that goes. So here are my recommendations. The DJI Spark will work, but I do not recommend it. The Autel X-Star Premium is a good starter drone, but get something else as it doesn't have obstacle avoidance. DJI Mavic Pro is a great starter drone. I recommend this for agents and people who just are getting started. The Unique Typhoon H is a very good drone with good quality, but it is quite big. I don't recommend that for a new person. A DJI Phantom 4 is a good drone, but it is getting phased out and it's still a decent drone for a beginner. The DJI 4 Advanced is an excellent choice for almost everybody. The DJI Phantom 4 Pro is also an excellent choice, especially for beginners. The DJI Inspire 2, definitely not for beginners. Yes, there are more drones that could be added to this list, but I feel that this list is comprehensive and long enough, and I don't wanna make a very, 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 very long video. This is long enough. I hope this video has helped you decide on what drone to get for your real estate business. And of course, all of these drones can do a lot more than just real estate. Although I try to cover everything, I am not perfect. So if I've missed something, please leave a comment below and let everybody know about it. If you'd like to help support the channel and get some cool stuff, go ahead and click the link to my merchandise below in the description. Like and share this video because it does help me out a lot. And of course, here's another video for you to go check out. Until next time, fly safe and bye.